What we have witnessed in 1990 is a pure example of Chinese hegemony. The people or the locals of the Baren village, mostly were the Uyghurs, have gone through this Chinese terror for 41 continuous years. This has also led to many deaths. The Chinese government and its cruel policy, like one-child policy, has forced the Uyghur women to abort their children. Now, the news also told that around 250 children were aborted and this was a forced action. Even the East Turkestan Islamic Party uh, and its around 200 members protested against this growing cruel Chinese policies. The locals of the barren village in Xinjiang had already suffered Chinese terror for 41 years. In 1990, over 200 members of the East Turkestan Islamic Party protested demanding an end to the mass immigration of Han Chinese and to stop forced abortions. As a part of China's cruel one-child policy, millions of Uyghur women were routinely forced to abort their babies. Villagers, directed by Yusuf, protested in Chinese government oppressive policies. On April 5, 1990, a riot broke out between the Chinese and Uyghurs in the town of Beren over the news that Uyghurs were forced to abort around 250 of their babies by the Chinese government. In retaliation, the Chinese government sent 500 troops and on April 6, it sent 4,000 People Liberation Army soldiers and over 18,000 Chinese troops. The riot ended on April 10, 1990 by killing Uyghur fighters and even civilians including women and children were injured and over 1,600 people lost their lives in the five-day conflict. It has also killed 107 Uyghur fighters and it has led to arrest of seven, around 7,900 Uyghurs. This was considered to be one of the biggest bloody massacre of that times. Now, the Uyghurs of Istanbul in Washington, D.C. remember the 32nd anniversary of the Beren Revolution. The East Turkestan government in exile also has demonstrated in front of White House, the U.S. government, with Uyghurs to urge to recognize them and the urge to recognize what Chinese government has been doing to them. This is a pure example of their Chinese hegemony or we can say the Chinese growing power on them. In Toronto, Canada, the East Turkestan government in exile along with the East Turkestan Youth Association of Canada held a march to commemorate the barren massacre and urged the Canadian government to act to an end China's campaign of colonization, genocide and occupation in East Turkestan. They also called Canada's government to secure the immediate release of Uyghur Canadian citizen who is in Salil, who has been unlawfully imprisoned by China for the past 16 years. This is a pure example of crime against humanity, where human rights have been violated. Now, the biggest question here is the international stage has put sanctions on Russia and took actions against them. Then why not on China? Are they scared of China and its power? It is time where the voice of the Uyghurs need to be heard by the people.